All right, back with you with part four of my Coleman 220 rebuild project I got going on. If you haven't seen part one through three, I'll put a link in here for my Coleman playlist on my channel. You can go in there and check out those videos and uh, any other Coleman videos or any videos on my channel if that uh, interests you. But uh, if you're a Coleman person, I have a few other videos in there you might be interested in checking out. Um, <clears throat> so finally got to the last two parts I really wanted from uh, Coleman uh, or yeah old Coleman parts .com. and so which was the leather replacement cups for the the pump assembly uh, and I went with leather just because I I think they work better especially on these older ones uh, one part that I did want that that's not available right now uh, specifically through Coleman parts old Coleman parts .com, and uh, I found a few I think on eBay but they wanted a, a small fortune for them is the caps that have um, the air chuck on the top so that you know the uh, valve stem so you can fill it using like a bicycle pump uh, one of those small bicycle pumps like this would you yeah, hold that out there would work you know perfect because it's small and easy to use um, it'd be kind of a cool little feature instead of having to sit there and pump it up using this or a backup way to use it if your pump assembly stopped working um, but I'm actually going to research because I have the uh, you know a, access to a drill press and uh, a tap set to see if I can just buy those and make my own uh, so stay tuned for that if I do that model uh, I'll include a video of it uh, and then the other part that I didn't absolutely needed but I decided uh, I wanted to replace was the gas generator this one was 11 bucks um, you know, so brand new gas generator, obviously it's a authentic, um, original Coleman part. And so we'll be installing that. So let me pause you here for a minute and we'll go ahead and install that. So went ahead and used the 3 8 inch open end wrench to remove the, um, the <clears throat> fitting. And so rotate your cleaner assembly up so you can get that needle out of there and then just carefully slide this out without damaging it because this one is still usable um, but it's it's a little warped from heat so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it and I'll keep it as a spare and you know it'll have a it can be in my little parts box so if I ever you know have an issue with another 220 series uh, lantern I'll have a spare or backup for that so get this old one out of the package here um, I'm gonna pause you here because I want to remove there's some like goop on it I don't want that on there burning off so hold on okay so I got most of that goop off there uh, it's kind of a pain I tried to uh, rubbing alcohol and then uh, move to uh, acetone and that seemed to work a little better but so now I'm just going to carefully get that piece. See, I'm talking about, about careful. So that piece right there will come out and hook into that. So, so you're going to go ahead and slide this up in here first. Hopefully, I'm not blocking the camera. And then let the needle kind of just drop. And Hook it in carefully. All right, so I got it in there. It was just having to get it, you know, perfectly lined up. So that part's in there. And guess what I forgot to do? <laughs> so don't forget this step right here is that. The nut there does not come with the new part, so you gotta uh, pop that out of there again and slide it out. Slide that over there, drop it in, and then you're ready to go back in. So, yeah, let's say that again, a lot easier that time. So, go ahead and tighten that down. Put your 3 8 open end wrench again. 
and just snug that down a little sharp rise and torque on that and I just call that good you don't want to over tighten that and next step will be the the cup seal which includes a lot of little pieces so don't lose those there is a little spacer here that bottom washer and the top washer so I'm going to put that on here that up like that and then of course the the nut that goes on the bottom and that is also no that's three eighths so three eighths wrench for that it's interesting how that works Okay, so then you just uh, go ahead and we'll see if I, if I did that 100% correctly. I'm getting the cup seal kind of down in there. You're going to have to kind of work around the edges. Uh, maybe with a small screwdriver, flat screwdriver. Kind of work that seal in there. Once it gets kind of preformed after you've been using it a while, it might not be that hard. And don't forget after you install this to, of course, add some some lubricant. So I'm going to pause you for a second for that. So I'm just going to apply a little Marvel Mister O on there. And this gets threaded on. Very feels just much better. So we're going to add fuel. Of course, I'm going to do that outside, and I want to test out this spark igniter I installed. So, and uh, and we'll add some mantles and fire it up, and we'll let you see how it turns. Okay, here you go. It is ignition. So uh, I went ahead and I lit it outside the garage, just in case, you know, and. I use the uh, the Coleman Lantern uh, spark igniter, which which worked out well. As you see there, it throws a pretty decent little spark, um, and you know it was pretty handy. The pump's working good. It still seems like maybe the check valve is leaking by a little bit. I will possibly look for a, a replacement, a new check valve that I could replace that with. But uh, you see here, it's working good. And oh, before I get any stupid comments about sitting on my workbench in my garage I have a 10 pound fire extinguisher right behind me so don't worry I'm not gonna burn my house down um, sorry there's just some comments in previous videos about silly stuff like that so um, anyhow I appreciate you guys all watching uh, if you have any comments whatever let me know and uh, such as is hopefully maybe I'll be doing a mod video in the near future on the caps so appreciate you all watching this is nomad 76 don't forget to uh, provide me some feedback